Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. E daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Teddy being so sweet. He's tired. He's fighting a nap, right? Yeah. Hi. <gasps> Hi. Let's have a good day. Sweet pie. Alright, leaving a dentist now, just a normal cleaning and check up, like a six month thing. It got delayed a little bit because of limited COVID and some other stuff. Or I'm just like scheduling. I think I ended up scheduling one of the reschedules while we were in Florida one time. Finally got back in, going back again in January. I do have to get my wisdom teeth out, which we knew that when we were, when I went there last. Um, I, uh, I just like, it's crazy. I'm on my lunch break. So it's crazy that I, uh, Amazon truck and it's not a Rivian. Ah, I want to see a Rivian in the city and I actually get to like look at it. Um, it's crazy that like, kind of like how I said the other day, like I love our little micro my neighborhood we live in. I can walk to, oh, you basically need everything. I'm walking to, I'm not even taking the subway or the bus. I'm walking to my dentist on my lunch. That's so convenient. Look at my hair. What's up with that? Um, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love so much of city life and I love so much of Orlando life, which is why we're gonna do, in the grand scheme of things, a little bit of both. Hello from our stroll. We've actually been walking a while already. I mean, not too, too long, but just longer than usual. I'm actually coming up on Wrigley. Um, but we all kind of woke up a little later today and our whole day's kind of just been like, thrown plus teddy like he slept longer in the morning like he didn't get up with us he went back to sleep and usually on these walks he's asleep too but oh wait he might have just he might have just closed his eyes when i looked down at him just then oh his eyes were open so maybe he is falling asleep but he's been awake and james just laid back too so i was opening this clip by thinking that it might not be a successful nap stroll. Like they have been foolproof. Like it's been working out so great for us. This has like guaranteed me multiple hours in the afternoon to get stuff done, which is which is key when there's two little ones. It's there's there's not I wish I just had some more arms. That's 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 what I wish. But um seems like James might be falling asleep. It's a gorgeous day out. Um, so I'm gonna enjoy. These are some of my favorite flowers. I'm a sunflower girl, but I love these little black-eyed Susans. My dad would call them brown-eyed Susans because my mom has brown eyes and her name is Susan. But whenever I see these, it makes me smile. I totally forgot that we have market days coming up this weekend. So exciting. So I just passed this family and the young girl like looked at James in the stroller and said oh my god and I was like can we like, take a look at him see if he was like doing something goofy or not awake because it definitely wasn't like a cute oh my god like I thought maybe like oh maybe he just looks cute but then I was like I don't know <laughs> his eyes are like fully open going every which way <laughs> doing his creepy thing um but that was so funny because like it literally caused her to say oh my god out loud i i will show you a little, a little creepy our creepy kid i don't know if there's anything more summery than a sprinkler going the smell of the hose water oh two we gotta run this as well I'll never be able to give up working remote Sure, a company could probably convince me to do some kind of slight hybrid, like one day a week or one week every quarter or something, but Sarah's gonna take a bath, James is taking a nap, I have the monitor on watching James. 
and I got this little guy next to me snoozing away while I finish up my day. Sending emails, refreshing reports, getting work done, while having the prides of my life next to me. I'm excited to announce that I actually bought a phone case. I've been rocking no phone case for quite some time. I have bad luck with technology, so. <sighs> I mean, I usually have bad luck with technology, but especially now. Um, so I decided I'm not gonna take any risks and I'm gonna buy a phone case now. <laughs> it's really as simple as you can get OtterBox navy blue with the ability to charge, I forget, Magna Safe Charge, I think that's what it's called. So here it is, super simple. So like I said, I'll be able to charge with it on, just navy blue, nothing fancy. By the way, I've been home from the walk for quite some time now. James um, napped for over two hours actually. Teddy napped at the same time. I got a ton of laundry done, I got the vlog up. Um, and I'm about to start cooking our dinner that we're gonna take on the go. Um, but anywho, I really like the case. It feels nice and sturdy. I do love Peter's case. It's similar. It's like basically apples, like just good old fashioned case that has the Magna safe charging on it, like charging capability. But I just wanted a little bit more protection. And even though this OtterBox like doesn't have a screen protector, isn't like really anything fancy. It just has a little bit extra umph to it. So I'm happy with my choice and hopefully, hopefully it lasts a while. Got peanut noodles with broccoli and onions, egg rolls, and Asian chopped kit salad that I'm gonna put in this bowl. You just enjoying nature, Teddy? We are at Montrose Beach, which we've never been to before, but it's a very popular beach in Chicago. Um, I feel like you just hear it on the radio, like when they're like, traffic on Lakeshore Drive from yada yada Montrose Beach. I feel like it's just a it's common. The Lake yeah, it's a very, it's a common beach, but we have never been. And so we're gonna eat our food in this grassy area. Um, we don't have our suits or anything, but we figured we might just dip our toes in the lake. Um, and yeah. Got our toes in the water. Someone, uh, someone wants to get into the drone game, I guess. Yeah, to clarify the drone is turned off and put away. He's not actually controlling it. Oh, so thirsty after a drone flight. Just relaxing on the blanket, looking at the birds fly by. We got a hiccups. He's eating the egg rolls. He's, he's eating the egg rolls. Oh, there's an ant on my phone. <laughs> that was cool. It was so cool. Uh, is you see the airplane? airplane? James, the airplane. This feels like Hocus Pocus. We watched Hocus Pocus tonight. Psst, we watched it yesterday too. I didn't watch it. He had it on. You put it on. So there are some food options, concessions over here. Daniel's concessions, tacos, tortas, burritos, hot dogs, hamburgers. Cool. And this little stand, ooh, that fruit looks so good. I know that they also allow dogs. I also know we have friends in Disney World Epcot right now. I'm very jealous. Right, so we're gonna go to this lagoon to try to feel something. Think about how bigger this lagoon is. Also called Lake Michigan, <laughs> compared to Seven Seas Lagoon. Not Seven Seas Lagoon. World, World Showcase Lagoon. lagoon. I cannot it vlog. It so good. It really does. Someone's grilling. Yeah. I can't vlog while pushing the stroller in the Santa. Ready, Daddy? Ready. <laughs> go, go, go. 
Go, daddy, go, daddy, go, daddy, go. This beach is huge. <laughs> Look at those buildings over there. We're like in a little alcove, so you can't see the skyline that way. You see the birdies? So you can see the top of the John Hancock building over there. Ooh. <laughs> Guys, out of the stroller. Straight in the sand. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know if he realizes the water is right there. But this is very nice sand. I think it's probably because it doesn't have to it doesn't get affected by the lake as much that it's probably a little bit nicer. Look at you with your stroller on the beach, the bay but attached to your stomach. He's snoozing. He is. Look I'm relaxed. This guy. James, you wanna go in the water? Look at that volleyball situation. Some serious games going on. Do you want to go in the water? Did you accidentally eat a, a face full of sand? <laughs> oh, nice. That's how tall James is. Florida boy born and raised. Like a giant sensory bin. We gotta get going. You need a bath now tonight. Even though it wasn't bath night, but that's a bath night for sure. Teddy is snoozing again through our beach trip. I want to dip his toes in so bad, but it is so cold. Like you have to think how long during the year this lake is frozen. It takes a really long time for it to get enjoyable. It's still pretty chilly, so I'm not going to do all this asleep, but by the end of the summer. We were winding down before bed, reading books. And Teddy, he's got spots, Dalmatian spots on spots. But he's found the mobile. Mobile. Mobile? Mobile. Mobile. So beautiful. Can't keep your eyes off of it. James is snoozing. Oh. This kid's fighting it. He's close though. We have a kind of a long day tomorrow. Yeah. Gonna go to the suburbs during the day? Mm-hmm. Then we have a concert in the evening. Mm-hmm. But I have a, a Again, meeting. Again in the suburbs so we're that's why we're starting out. Because I have to, we have to get out there before work so that we can leave from Christina and Grant's for the concert, and I have an early meeting, so we can't like go there my lunch. Like I, we have to be there bright and early, ready to go right away. Yeah, yeah. I gotta head it. Should we say it? Wait, it's your daily message. Oh, the daily message.
August 2nd, Tuesday, is by Alexander Hamilton. We like that person. There's a certain enthusiasm in liberty that makes human nature rise about itself in acts of bravery and heroism. Love it. We got some bunch of videos sent to us down in this beautiful place. Best place in the whole world right now. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.